Hello everyone and welcome to the Civilization Overview for the Cumans. The Cumans are a new AoE2 civilization that has arrived with Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. This video will break down the tech tree and I will speculate just how this civilization will be played out in the game. Let's get to it. The Cumans are classified as a cavalry civilization, and man are they different. Cumans can build an additional town center in the Feudal Age. Siege Workshop and Battering Ram is also available in the Feudal Age. And cavalry is 10% faster starting in Feudal. Also, their team bonus is that Palisade Walls have 50% more HP. You could have a two town center economy, with rams and faster scouts in Feudal Age. This is so very different from anything we've seen with Age of Empires 2 Civs. So now to break down their tech tree. They do not get access to Arbalest or Hand Cannoneer. However, they do have access to Elite Skirmisher and Cav Archer. They also get Champion and Halberdier in their barracks, as well as a Supplies tech, which makes infantry cheaper. In the stable, they can make Hussar, Paladin, and the Step Lancer, which is a new unit added into some civs with Age of Empires 2 DE. The Step Lancer is like a cross between a Light Cav and a Kamayuk. It has a bit of range and is the new mounted Pointy Boy. And this Pointy Boy costs 70 food and 30 gold and is quite weak against archers. However, with the low gold cost, it is extremely good against melee units. Also, for 900 food and 550 gold, you can upgrade this unit in the Imperial Age to Elite Step Lancers, which takes them from 80 HP to 100 HP, and from 10 attack to 12 attack. Moving over to the Blacksmith now, no surprise that Cumans get all upgrades for their stable and infantry units. In fact, the only upgrade they do lack is Bracer, which is a big loss for those Skirmishers and Cav Archers. This also means their water game will be less than stellar, as their galleons will lack that crucial bracer upgrade. They do get fast fire ship, but with lack of cannon galleon and heavy demolition ship, this is not the sieve you want to have in a long drawn out water battle. When it comes to siege, the Cumans are very strong with access to siege ram and siege onager. Their monks are not all that strong past the castle age, since they lack Illumination Block Printing and Theocracy, which are important upgrades then. And their university is lacking all tower technologies and many ways to fortify their defenses. Economically speaking, there's not too much that catches my eye. However, they do miss out on Stone Shaft Mining, while they do have access to Banking if they want to sling, and Guilds if they want to sell. It's also interesting to note that the Cumans join Goths as one of the civilizations that cannot stonewall or stone gate. You'll notice here that Cumans lack the access to building stone gate, stone wall, and fortified wall, and previously the only civ that fell into that category was the Goths. You're probably picking up on a few negatives. Lack of bracer, lack of water techs, lack of monks and imp, and university upgrades. I mean, Yes, they can make a second town center in Feudal Age, and I'm sure that will be strong. But what gives? What's so special about Cumans beyond that? Well, the answer is their unique unit. It is quite simply bonkers. Yes, that's right. I said bonkers. The Kipchak is a unique Cav Archer with rapid fire attack. And supposedly, it is strong versus infantry, but weak versus skirmishers. Take a look at this thing. The Kipchak fires faster than any unit I have seen in the game. So fast that while they lack Bracer and a lot of range, they will melt anything. Combine that with the fact that the unit is mounted and can run away from any dicey situations, I think it is going to be seen very frequently for years to come. These crazy units don't even have a mentioned bonus for Siege, but they melt it like Mangadai do. It's unreal. And on top of that, their unique techs complement them quite nicely. Step Husbandry, their Castle Age unique tech, trains Light Cav and Cav Archers 80% faster. This tech is only 200 food and 300 wood, 
which could lead to some interesting castle age spam as it's quite cheap. Also, in the Imperial Age, having stable units would nicely complement the Kipchaks in the event that the opponent does make a huge ball of skirmishers. The Imperial Age unique technology is called Cumin Mercenaries, and this tech gives your allies a little bit of a donation. Not in resources, but in Kipchaks. After this tech is researched, team members can create 10 free elite Kipchaks out of their castle. It's pretty pricey tech, to be honest. It's uh, 650 food and 400 gold. I find that quite steep. But since these units are so strong, it's quite a nice thing for an ally to have available in their arsenal. The more I think about this civilization, it reminds me an awful lot of Huns, Magyars, and Mongols. More so Mongols, I'd say, since the Kipchaks are very similar to the Mangadai. But this Civ can dominate in Feudal Age with the additional Town Center, can dominate Castle Age with the fast producing stables, and can dominate the Imperial Age with a, an insane unique unit in the Kipchaks. There are many Civs, like Huns for example, who can dominate Feudal Age and Castle Age with their faster producing stables and their cheap Cav Archers and their mobility, but those Civs tend to struggle because of lack of Siege, not the Cumans. With access to Siege Onager and Siege Ram, this Civ is a force to be reckoned with even in the Imperial Age. So yet again, another new civilization with exciting units and versatile economies. I am so looking forward to casting and playing with the Cumans over the coming months. Thanks for watching this Age of Empires 2 Civilization Overview. Make sure to click like if you enjoyed the video, and to subscribe to the channel and toggle on alerts so you don't miss what's next. In addition to making Age of Empires 2 videos, I frequently stream AoE 2 on my Twitch page, so if you'd have interest in checking that out, the link is below in the video description. I'd love to have you stop by. But that's all for now, and I'll see you next time.